The recent revelation that UNRWA employed Fatah Sheriff Abu El Amin, a senior Hamas operative killed in an Israeli airstrike, exposes a long-standing and egregious problem, the disturbing intersection between a supposed humanitarian organization and a terrorist group. Founded to provide aid to refugees, UNRWA has strayed so far from its mission that it now stands as an enabler of the very extremism it was meant to. According to a joint statement by Israel's Shin Bet and the IDF, Sheriff was a key figure in orchestrating Hamas's terror activities in Lebanon in collaboration with Hezbollah. His role was far from peripheral. He coordinated recruitment efforts, oversaw weapons procurement, and was instrumental in building Hamas's military infrastructure within Lebanon. Sheriff's influence was both political and military, solidifying Hamas's foothold in a region already mired in the fact that UNRWA, a body ostensibly dedicated to humanitarian aid, could employ such a figure underscores the depths to which the organization has fallen. Instead of curbing extremism, UNRWA has allowed itself to become a vehicle for Hamas's deadly ambitions. What we see here is not just bureaucratic failure but moral capitulation. UNRWA, far from being a neutral actor, has become dangerously complicit in the very terror it, and yet, governments around the world, including the UK, continue to pour taxpayer money into this farce, financing an organization that has allowed itself to become indistinguishable from the terror groups it claims to have no connection with. This is not mere negligence. It's a betrayal of the fundamental principles on which UNRWA was founded. It is high time the international community recognizes the rot at the heart of this institution and demands accountability, not just for UNRWA's repeated failures, but for the role it has. Thank <laughs> you.